Newly released 911 calls are shedding new light on a deadly crash involving a car full of teens. State police say the 17 year old driver was drunk behind the wheel, but from the 911 call, it appears the teen was trying to cover up what really happened. A scared girl's painful cries can be heard in the background of a 911 call. She was one of eight people ages 12 to 22 crammed inside an SUV that rolled in a late night crash on I-25 just south of Las Vegas earlier this month. 911 calls started pouring in. There's a rollover. These kids are hurt. Um, it's just past Tegelet between Las Vegas. They need help. State police say the driver was 17-year-old Dwayne Lovato and that he was driving drunk. But he wasn't fessing up to anything in the call he made to 911. Somebody was driving me in my car and then they wrecked those and then they took off running. In the moments immediately after the crash, Lovato tells the 911 dispatcher he was not the one behind the wheel. Uh, do you know who the individual driving? I don't uh, know who was driving me. Despite the story, he tells the dispatcher investigators were able to find out the truth. Lovato himself was injured. He goes on to tell the dispatcher a girl he didn't know wasn't responding and was likely dead. Could he send an ambulance out here, please? We need somebody. Yeah, we already out. have officers and ambulance in there. 14-year-old Kayla Martinez and 12-year-old Alejandra Sanchez died. I was falling asleep and I remember picking up my head and seeing someone hit the steering wheel and then I blacked out. Alexandria De La O survived the crash. We caught up with her the day after as she remembered her two friends. She told us she knew Lovato had been drinking but got in the car anyway. State police say Lovato also eventually told them he had been drinking. Other passengers were also thrown out of the car and taken to the hospital that night. Lovato is charged with two counts of vehicular homicide, reckless driving, and DWI.